I am here at the Goodwill Outlet, at the Goodwill Bins, and we are gonna go inside and hopefully find some amazing things to sell on Poshmark and eBay. I am so excited. It's been a while since I came in the afternoon, so we're here in the afternoon. It took me a while to find a cart and to find a parking spot, but I got one and we're gonna be here for a couple hours. So I can't wait to see what I find and then I'm gonna bring you along with me inside and then I'm gonna do a haul after that. All right, let's do it. As soon as I walked in, there was a new rotation happening. So you know that I beelined it for that and I found some actually really good things in it, which I will show you in the haul. But then I brought y'all over with me to go through some older bins. And the first thing I found in these older bins was this Draper James blouse. It was a denim or chambray blouse, which again, I'll show you more in the haul, but I really like selling Draper James. Okay, here I found for the first time ever Burberry at the bins and it's vintage Burberry, but still I was so excited to find it. First, I found that blazer, which was beautiful, 100% wool. And then I stumbled upon the pants, which you see here. The pants are in a bit rougher condition, which again, I'll talk about later, but still finding a complete vintage Burberry suit set, very exciting. Definitely not something that you come across every day at the Goodwill outlet in these blue bins, people just discarding Burberry. Um, very exciting. So then I came across these leggings. I actually wasn't sure uh, what the brand was. If you saw the logo, which you'll see here, um, I put it in my cart to check and I used Google to look up that logo, but I still couldn't find out what it was. I searched for it, couldn't find it, so I did end up throwing those back. But if any of y'all know what that is, I don't think it's really something worth picking up, but let me know in the comments down below. I talked about that last time in my thrift with me at the regular Goodwill, which I'll link up on the screen, but I am constantly looking up new brands when I am at the bins or the regular Goodwill because that is one of the best ways to learn about new brands is to come across something you've never heard before that looks like it might be high quality and then searching it. And you can oftentimes just search the logo using the Google app and just using image search. Uh, but in this case, it didn't really result in anything. This was another brand still. I hadn't heard of S-T-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. It didn't end up being anything, but uh, I did search it and I am constantly surprised by the number of things that I just come across that I've never heard of that actually have a really solid average sales price and comps look really solid. And sometimes y'all ask me, how do I look up comps? And I actually have done a whole video on that as well, which I will link up on the screen. If you are a reseller and there's any doubt in your mind about how to check comps on Poshmark, I would definitely check out that video. I found this pair of Torrid shorts, which were really something I wanted to pick up, but they had a flaw, which was that one button was missing and there was no replacement button. So I did throw those back. And then I found this J. Crew dress that had been at Goodwill and it was this beautiful eyelet midi navy blue wrap dress which I put into my cart because that is the type of substantial J. Crew piece that I absolutely love selling so I was really happy to find that. This was a similar type of dress from Express but I never really pick up Express. Maybe I need to do a little bit of research. The only time I've really made an exception to that is when I find new with tag Express pants, uh, specifically office or professional pants, such as the columnist style. I'll pick that up because I know those sell really well, but let me know in the comments down below if you ever pick up Express to sell. So next I found that Duluth Trading Company plaid shirt. I think someone had thrown it back, but um, I didn't see any flaws with it and I really like selling Duluth Trading Company. It's one of my new favorite bread and butter brands. I came across this Columbia coat 
I still am constantly on the fence when it comes to Columbia. I actually have sold a couple of pieces at this point that were sitting for a very long time, but it's never for very much and it typically takes too long. I'm willing to do a $20 sale here and there, but only for brands that are gonna sell pretty quickly. So Columbia just seems to sit too long to be worth it. I came across this Lulu's gown, which I was really excited about, but then when I went through my cart, I found that it was actually in really bad condition. There were stains all along the hem, which is definitely something that you wanna look at when you find any kind of maxi dress or formal wear piece. Oftentimes there can be stains at the hem or it can be altered. So something to keep in mind, I came across a few more pieces that I threw in my cart, that Urban Outfitters striped dress, as you saw there. And then here I found my one Lululemon piece of the trip. I always like to find one Lululemon and one Patagonia piece every Ben's trip in. I was successful in doing that this time around. I came across this frame t-shirt, which I would have picked up. I find that frame basics can actually do pretty well if you price them right, but it had a stain at the front that I didn't think would come out, so I did throw it back. But that is everything that I captured in the Thrive With Me portion. Here are all my goodies. Can't wait to show you the haul. Okay, well that was a good trip. I'm really, really excited to show y'all what I found in the haul. I think I might actually take you to the office. I don't know, we'll see, and do the haul there. But um, I need to go get food now. And yeah, let's head on over to do the haul. All right, see you there. Welcome to my office. <laughs> I guess you're used to uh, you know, seeing my office because I shoot Chef With Me videos in here now, but I think I might be starting to shoot more videos. Uh, the reason being, I haven't talked about publicly yet, but I will eventually. Um, in my office so let me know how what you think about that if the audio is okay and um, everything like that I can definitely do things to improve it but happy to have you here <laughs> so okay let's get started with the bins haul there's a lot of stuff I've got two bins worth of stuff to show you so buckle up there are a few really really good things that I'm super excited to show you okay but a lot of good stuff too like this first thing we the free free people orange oversized thermal. These are the type of pieces that sell so quickly for me, not for a ton of money, but do really, really well. I love picking up free people. It's so easy to list. You can just find the style name with that OB number and get it listed quick. And if you don't want to list it for whatever reason, you can take it to Crossroads and they must almost always pick it up. Okay, this is a brand that I feel like not all resellers pick up, Joe's Jeans. And I will pick these up all the time at the bins. Um, these are size 38 women's. And so that's a really good size. I have a lot of luck selling, you know, more larger sizes in Joe's. Uh, I also love picking up men's Joe's jeans. Goodwill went in $19.99 for these. So I got them for about a buck, which is great. This is an Anthropology Pilcrow in the Letterpress floral t-shirt. Isn't that really cute? I love this vintage inspired floral print. This is something I definitely would not have picked up at a regular Goodwill, but at the bins, I'll go ahead and snag it. Super lightweight and um, it should be really easy to list. I mean, this could actually be a really, really solid sale. A really, really solid find. It is 65% virgin wool, 25% yak, and 10% cashmere, which is an amazing material content or fabric content. It is Boss Hugo Boss. And I would get Boss Hugo Boss in liquidation all the time, and that's how I figured out that it sells so well, especially more recent pieces, which I think this is. And so this is a sweater. It is not shrunken, it's in excellent condition. The only real flaw is that it has a little bit of pilling, which I can get off very easily with a sweater shaver. And I think this could do really, really well. So, such a good find. Definitely, if you find Boss Hugo Boss at the bins in excellent condition, especially women's pieces, like workwear pieces, dresses, etc., I would say pick them up. Here's another good brand I love selling, Draper James, which was of course, started by Reese Witherspoon. This is just a denim blouse, that ruffle detail on the front and the bell sleeve. This was at Goodwill for 
which no one wanted to buy it for that much. So it ended up in the bins. Happy that it did because I love selling Draper James and this is a size 12, which is a really good size for Draper James or for a lot of brands, including this one. This is also a size 12. It is Waters and Waters. So this is, or this is actually WTOO, W2 by Waters and Waters, which is kind of their diffusion line. Um, and it is a formal wear dress. It's in really great, excellent condition. It probably was hemmed. So I am going to, of course, take measurements, include them in the listing, and then say that in the description. But that doesn't stop people all the time from buying it, especially if they were gonna hem the dress themselves anyways. And it's still got the uh, waist tie that's also in excellent condition. So I was really excited about that find. This is a brand that I just recently kind of learned about and have realized every time I list it, it sells really quickly, especially on eBay. And that is Mountain Khakis. It won't sell for a ton of money, but it, again, like I said, sells really quickly. This was at Goodwill for $9.99. They're just a pair of kind of workwear or hiking khaki pants. Uh, I think they're for, you know, outdoor or kind of construction work or some kind of you know, heavy duty work. Next is, I think y'all saw me find these, a pair of Lululemon shorts. I think someone that had thrown these back, they had probably opened the pocket and seen that this was an older style because it just has, the size dot just has the number eight. It doesn't have any numbers or letters surrounding it. But I find all Lululemon sells well and quickly, including older styles. So, I was happy to pick it up and I actually think that shorts like these do pretty well. I, when I was pregnant, I loved wearing shorts like these because they're low rise, <laughs> they allow for my stomach and really stretchy and comfortable. And so I actually per went on Poshmark and purchased some shorts just like these. If I could go back in time and give myself these shorts, I would. But anyway, <laughs> you never know why people might be in the market for those type of shorts. So next is actually a brand I don't have a whole lot of experience selling, but I decided I'm gonna start picking up this brand at the bins and experimenting with it because I know there are certain pieces that do really well and there are certain pieces that will probably sit forever. I'm just gonna try to learn through experimentation and that is Pendleton. Pendleton is based here in Portland. This is a wool skirt. It's also a size 12 stripe. So we'll see how this does. I know Pendleton does well on ThreadUp. And someone recently told me, uh, I think one of y'all maybe, that it's accepted by the real real. So, you know, if it sits for a long time, I have some exit strategies, <laughs> some backup plans for that skirt. Okay, this is Urban Outfitters. I'm either gonna sell this or take it to Crossroads. I think I might take it to Crossroads and see if they want it, and then if not, I'll sell it. It's this stripe dress, size large, has a square neckline. The reason I take it to Crossroads is because it's not gonna garner that much when I resell it, and so if I can take it there and basically more or less exchange it for one of their more expensive pieces, uh, because I will take the store credit. And then I can just make more money from essentially that piece. Okay, this is another brand that I just recently started picking up and it's now one of my favorite bread and butter brands. And that is Duluth Trading Company. This is a 4XL plaid button down shirt. I don't think I've sold a plaid button down shirt by this brand yet, but every time I pick it up, it seems to sell well. So. I'm just gonna keep picking it up until, you know, I figure out what doesn't sell. Someone threw these back, I believe, which I don't know why. I keep looking for the reason why, because when I checked comps on these pants, they were great. The brand is built, and it is the Weekender pant. Pants like these, like Weekender everyday or commuter pants like these, tend to do really, really well. So uh, I was really, really excited to pick these up. I think they should sell, you know, between 30 and 40 bucks. They're size small, but we'll see. And those types of pieces tend to do sell quickly for me too. Okay, I picked up a papyrus and sympathy <laughs> and sympathy card. These cards are so expensive. Yeah, this card was seven bucks. So I was like, yeah, I'll pick it up. I have one of those um, 
I have like a little binder type of thing where I just collect cards in case, you know, I ever need a card. And um, so, you know, probably will need that card at some point. This I think was also thrown back and I don't know why. It's really cute pair of J. Crew shorts. It's a linen blend short, but it has a kind of satiny look to it. And these are from summer 2020. So definitely a very good pickup. I'm excited to get those listed. Should be really, really easy to list. Okay, this was one of my amazing finds. And I think y'all saw me find it. I actually, it's funny enough, I just sold a vintage Burberry's cardigan um when i did a whatnot show recently so it's been top of mind and then of course i am at the bins today and i find a burberry's total suit so this is the jacket or the blazer it's a really really pretty brown kind of gray and blue check i don't know if you can see that really pretty I'm gonna check the pockets. The blazer is in excellent condition. It's 100% wool. And uh, so I was really excited to find it here. Oh, wow, there's some writing in it. Union Made USA. Let me just show you the patch on the inside. So I actually didn't check comps on this. But I'm excited to. I'm excited to see how this will do. I think it should do well. This on the other hand, the pants, definitely I'm going to have to do some treatment on. If I can't get these clean, they just seem to have little stains and I don't know what this is. If I can't get this clean, then I will, you know, have to just, I guess, list the blazer by itself. But that would be a real shame. I would like to list both of them together. And so the little stains, I don't know if you can see that. See? It's uh, interesting how it's just on the pants. Selling suits, you know, you definitely have to include a lot of measurements, especially this was probably like a custom tailored suit, but they can, suits can do so, so well. And even suit separates by the right brands can do so well. I really like selling blazers and so forth so i'm gonna set this aside because i'm gonna have to stain treat it but i'll probably it's 100 wool so i definitely can't throw it into the wash i'll probably just hand wash it and uh, see what i can get out that way all right this was a good find i i feel like someone threw this back too and i don't know why maybe i'll find out when i'm steaming it it is a j crew size 10 Really pretty, substantial piece. Let me see if I can find what season it's from. It is from spring 2019. This eyelet wrap midi dress, which is gonna be so great going into spring in this really pretty navy color. It's got the waist tie and it was at Goodwill and Goodwill wanted only $6.99 for it. I would have paid that. Uh, size 10, which is a really good brand. So that was an excellent find. And then someone did throw these back. I understand why they threw them back. Uh, and wh when I say I know someone threw them back, uh, there's usually like bins at the end cap, you know, like the end where people sort through things, where if you go through them, you'll just find a lot of flawed items. And so, and they're like good flawed items. I like to go through there because sometimes I'll find things that just have like little stains on them and I can stain treat those. And then sometimes people throw things back just because they don't want to list it or they check comps and they don't want to sell it for whatever reason. Or maybe that's just not their specialty, who knows? So I like to go through the bins where people are throwing stuff back. But if you do that, make sure, you know, you're looking for flaws because usually those pieces have flaws. These are Levi's Wedgie. Love selling Levi's Wedgie. These are size 31 and they're really cute black wash, but they do have some fading. So as you can probably see, yeah, on the knees and then on the back, they definitely still have some life in them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them to Crossroads because Crossroads also loves picking up uh, wedgie jeans and seeing if they want them 
And if they do, that'd be excellent because then I could essentially exchange them for another pair of pants. So we will see. Pro, you know, Crossroads definitely does check for the quality of an item. So not guaranteed, but we'll see if they want them. Okay, I picked this up on a whim, but I'm really excited to check comps and see how it will do. It is Lauren, Ralph Lauren, size 14, which is why I picked it up. I like picking up Ralph Lauren formal wear. It does really, really well, but I don't really pick up a lot of Ralph Lauren otherwise. So this is the type of piece that definitely feel like is a good place to start experimenting with. I know a lot of people love selling Ralph Lauren, but this is an orange paisley dress. And the fact that it's a size 14, I think it's really great. And we're going into spring, so it's a good time to be picking up dresses like this. Goodwill wanted $14.99 for it, so um, I was really happy to find that. Oh, this is such an interesting find. It is Patagonia. And it's a woman's small, it is, Basically kind of, you know, their fleece jackets. This has got to be an older piece. These are like the soft fleece pant. And they are in pretty good condition. I mean, this type of material can definitely uh, get really, really worn. But this is actually in good condition. It just really needs a lot of lint rolling. I think once it has that, it will look really, really good. So I'm excited to get those listed. Okay, this is a bread and butter brand. I love selling Torrid. And this is a really cute button front chambray skirt, size two, which translates into a 2X from Torrid. Got the pockets, it's got all the good things. I think I did see a little grease stain on it maybe. So I'm just checking now, because if so, I'm gonna set it aside to stain treat but if you haven't watched my stain treatment video i use this time to plug it now i'll link it up on the screen it is actually i, I don't see it so um maybe i'll find it later uh i'll link it up on the screen yeah it's definitely i think a must watch i spent good time putting it together so it's pretty good if i do say so myself all right next is a pair of free people these are kind of a crinkle material red pant kind of a wide leg it is missing the free people little metal logo but it has the size tag on there and goodwill was selling these for $9.99 so instead i got them for about a buck which is good i love selling free people like i said and i love this top i have a feeling this top was sold at shop off and places like that so so cute it is page And it's got this ruffle detail along the neckline and the sleeves. It's a floral Swiss dot fabric and Swiss dot just means it's got like these kind of textured dots uh, on the fabric and it's a size large. So really, really cute. It's got a little bit of a button front. Super cute. Goodwill wanted $6.99 for that, which wasn't bad. One bin down, one to go. I actually, stood for a rotation that i thought was going to be clothing and then it ended up being bags <laughs> which i don't have a lot of luck with bags at the bins maybe it's because i never do them or i never like go through them but uh, i didn't have too much luck with that rotation uh, but i got one bag and it was this and i got it because it was new a tag i don't really know this brand i did check comps on it it is mona b this retailed for $71.99 and it says live love wander it's got kind of this you know distressed look to it so i'm gonna go ahead and sell it and see how it does if i won't list it for too too much because i don't know how much demand um or search volume there is for that particular brand but you know you never know but you know i could be wrong could have could be something that, you know, people are searching for. Who knows? Uh, this is Urban Outfitters. Size small. It is a black and white floral kind of skater dress. Pretty easy. I think I might take this to Crossroads. And then, again, if they don't want it, I will sell it. Okay, next is this Eileen Fisher. Size small. Skirt. Small or extra small or extra, extra small. 
Typically it doesn't sell quite as well on, in Eileen Fisher, but I mean, it'll still sell. I, in fact, I actually sold an Eileen Fisher small skirt today. So happy to pick that up. It should sell pretty fast if I price it right. This is a good find, Everlane men's size medium black button down. Everlane doesn't sell for too much anymore, but it still sells quickly for me if I price it right. Okay, right, next piece is really cute. I'm kind of tempted to sell this on my whatnot show, but it is this Madewell size medium, very 70s inspired striped knit tank. I love those colors of pink, like a rusty orange and a yellow. Really, really cute. But oh, this is cool. New a tag. This was actually in the plastic packaging. I opened it just to see what it was. Uh, Nike. It doesn't re oh, retail for 50 bucks. Actually, that's not too bad. This skort should be really easy to list. So that was a nice bins find. This was a pair. It's from 2022, which is why I picked it up, a pair of airy offline leggings in this really pretty camel color. When I grabbed these, I was like, oh my gosh, these are definitely Lululemon, they're so nice. And then realized they're offline by Airy, which was surprised. They're really, really soft and really, really nice. So I'm excited to get these listed. Yeah, they're from May, 2022. So really recent, not even a year old. And they're size so small, seven eighth legging, real me extra. So, Airy is American Eagle, and it obviously doesn't retail for a ton of money, but I found that certain pieces, especially by the offline line within Airy, does well. This, I don't know if it's gonna do well. Um, Y'all know I love selling figs. It's one of my favorite bread and butter brands to find. Figs is like really high quality scrubs, and these, there was a bunch of these. They're Adar. So I picked up two, uh, just to you know, experiment and see how they do. This is a new a tag top. And then I picked up a pair of pants, which, let me see if I can find them. Yeah, a pair of pants. They're not new a tag, but they're the same color. So I don't know if they're the same size though. Oh yeah, they're both large. So I was thinking, you know, if someone wanted to buy them together. Um, I think these are probably new without tag, but I don't know. I check comps kind of all over the place, but you know, it being the bins, I decided to go ahead and pick it up because if it sells quickly, then it'll probably be worth it for me to continue picking up that brand. I've never picked up any brand other than figs in the scrubs category, so we'll see. Uh, this is J. Jill. I thought these were so cute. I don't think it says the date on the tag, uh, but it seems like a recent piece. Really, really cute. Here, let me show you the tag. J. Jill. They're size six petite gingham pants. They're a stretch pant, kind of an ankle pant with a little slit on the hem. Super, super cute. So I wanted to just pick those up on style alone. J. Jill will do really well for me in the larger sizes. So six petite isn't exactly large, -er, but um, still worth picking up and experimenting with. This, I need to stay in treat, but I actually just sold a Torrid bra today. So this was a Torrid bra, Torrid Curve. It's in a 44D, which I think is a good size. This is a push-up bra. It just has a little bit of dirt, like right here, which I don't even know if you can see, but it should be pretty easy just to stay in treat and get out. So I need to set this aside along with my Burberry. Okay, next is, oh, a pair of Lafayette 148 pants. These are, they're the women's, they're a women's pair of pants, but the style is called menswear. I'm like pretty sure, and I'm pretty sure I've listed these before. And I love selling Lafayette 148. Uh, sometimes it can take a little while to sell but it retails for so much money and it just does really well. Ooh, okay, I'm seeing that I do need to stain treat this as, as well, but it should be pretty easy to stain treat. It's 96% virgin wool, so I won't put it in the wash, but I will just go ahead and hand wash it. Along with my bird baby. Okay. <laughs> Next is a free people blouse. Let me see, okay, here we go. 
there. Size small. It is this red floral knit blouse with the ruffle detail on the sleeves. I won't make a ton of money from this, but it will be easy to list and hopefully it should sell quickly. Similarly, won't make a ton of money from this, but it should be easy to list. And I don't know if it'll sell quickly, we'll see. Prana, size eight pants. These are like a skinny pant. I love kind of the color of these. It's almost like a peach and navy marled color. I think they're really good hiking pants. So we'll see how those do. Let me see actually the materials tag in here. Yeah, the reason I like selling Prana is because they have a style number on the materials tag. This material tag seen better days, but it makes it really, really easy to list. You can find the style name and you can find stock photos if you want to use them easily. Maybe this is another Prana piece. This is men's Prana flannel, uh, a plaid flannel button down, which is nice. What was it, size small? Yes. And again, should be pretty easy to list. The style number's right there. And I like selling Prana men's. These are really cute. I think I'm going to take these to Crossroads as well and see if they want them. But if not, I'll sell them because they're in excellent condition. Urban Outfitters pants. They are these knit pants. I think they're a little bit of a flare leg. They're white with this blue stripe, high rise, stretchy. So we'll see if Crossroads wants these. I think they will look, they seem like they've never been worn or washed. So I love finding items in that kind of condition at the bins. Oh, I was really excited to find these. These are free people. We the free size 26 jeans. They have some distressing on the knee. Uh, some of the threading on the distressing has come out, which I'll just disclose in the listing, but a lot of it actually is still there. So yeah, we'll see. High rise, rigid denim, really cute. So excited to get those listed. This is a brand I don't always pick up, but this was, I think, new without tags because it's actually got the buttons tag on it. This is mod cloth, and it is just a really nice kind of satin button down. It's a size small, larger or plus size mod cloth tends to do better. More substantial pieces tend to do better, but uh, this being in the condition it was in with the kind of buttons tag, I thought it'd be worth picking up and we'll see. We'll see if I continue to pick up mod cloth. If that sits and sits, maybe I'll be just more selective with mod cloth going forward. Just when I see something that's an excellent or like new condition with the bins, I'm very uh, tempted to always pick it up because it's so easy to list. It definitely has a lot of life left, especially new with tags items. So we'll just see. This is a Nordstrom a men's shop shirt. This is another thing. We're just gonna kind of experiment and see how this does. Red. Plaid. It should be easy to list. So wanted to pick that up. We'll see. It was an excellent condition, which is why I was again tempted to try it out. This is Rails. I find that Rails kind of basics like this that have cute details. They're oftentimes sold at places like Shopbop and Revolve, and they do well. This is just a gray t-shirt with a puffed sleeve. So um, I'm gonna check to see, you know, how this kind of piece does, but it's in excellent condition and it is really cute basic. This is Patagonia. It is a quarter snap fleece pullover, but it has got quite a bit of peeling on it. So I'm just gonna take my sweater shaver, go over it. Actually, my mom, <laughs> my mom keeps saying like, I wanna come in the office and work with you. So if she, you know, actually does come through and does that, then um, I am going to, that's, this is one of her tasks, sweater shaving. <laughs> and maybe we can just hang out and she can sweater shave and you know, it'll be all dandy. But this piece, it needs a little bit of rehab, but once it does, it'll still have, it'll still be worth noting that the fleece is a little worn, um, but it definitely has life left and it definitely should still sell once we do some sweater shaving on it, so. I want to pick that up. 
I love selling Levi's 501 jeans and I love selling the shorts. They tend to do really well and sell quickly. This pair was probably sold at places like Shop Up and Revolve. Really, really cute. Um, it is a size 26, which is a great size. Got some distressing, cute. Always when you find, you know, Levi's cutoff shorts, make sure that uh, the cutoff is intentional and that wasn't DIY. And you can kind of tell just having this distressing here makes me think it was definitely intentional. And this is a professionally done cutoff job. You can kind of tell the difference if it's DIY usually. But if you really want to make sure you can check, you can Google uh, the style number and see. I've been having a lot of luck with Adriana Goldschmidt, including older styles. So I decided to go ahead and pick this up. AG Adriana Goldschmidt, the Prima Ankle. They're low rise, but still I have been, you know, list it for like 35 and sell it for about 24. Uh, having good luck with it. So I'm gonna keep on picking up. This is a pair of Eileen Fisher pants, size 12, and they are linen blend gray pant, which is great. A great size. Love finding Eileen Fisher at the bends. This is a very expensive brand joseph and i could not find style name actually the style name is on the materials tag but i couldn't when i googled it it wasn't anywhere to be found i think it's called the debbie blouse um this is this top probably retailed for over 200 dollars. it's a very expensive brand it's sold at places like nordstrom and i think the real real accepts this brand so i might send this into the real real because it's not like the real world has another eyelet blouse by Joseph listed for I think 52. Good one one six ninety nine for this blouse. But I got it at the bins and it's in excellent condition. This is a white eyelet. So I don't know, I might send it into the real world or I might just try selling it myself. It would be nice to have stock photos for this because it's gonna be white. It's gonna be hard to photograph against a white wall, but I'll probably put it on a mannequin. And try my best we'll see if it doesn't sell then i'll just maybe send it into the real real okay bread and butter one of my favorite things to find nydj the maryland style does really well and these are in excellent condition there are four petite which is the best size larger tends to do better in my experience with nydj but still excellent condition really great dark wash so i was very excited to find those and then my last piece is maybe the piece I was most excited to find. I mean, the Burberry's was really great too, but I couldn't, I really did a happy dance when I found this one. Uh, and it was an All Saints dress. Oh, I actually know who owned this. Because the dry cleaning tag has her name on it. <laughs> Take that off. This is an All Saints dress. And this dress, actually I have, know the style name, was sold at Revolve. And so I have stock photos, which is nice. It's really, really cute. It's actually got the word All Saints printed on the material, which is interesting. And their logo. Uh, their logo, here, I'll show you. It looks like that. Oh, it's upside down, but you see that little head, <laughs> the animal head. And then like the word All Saints is like printed on here, but it's an animal print and it's really pretty. It's got this kind of ruched skirt portion, the smock detail on the top, and then that high neck with ruffle trim along the sleeves. It is called the, I think Elena, Elena, no, Elena Perpetua dress. Another reason I love selling all the Saints is they just have the style name right there on the tag. But such a beautiful dress, retailed for I think $230 and perfect condition, found at the bins. Like this is better than what I would find at Goodwill, so <laughs> I love the bins. Okay, well that was everything. Such good finds. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite find was. And let me know in the comments down below what your favorite find from today was. Uh, mine was All Saints Dress, but so, so many good ones. If you like videos like this, be sure to give 
and a big old thumbs up. I kind of did a video that's similar to my old Ben's videos um, where I just do a little bit of thrift with me, a little, and then a lot of haul. If you like this type of video, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, well, Monday there's a ship with me video, so I'll see y'all in the next one. Okay, love y'all.